Welcome guys. Today I have dancers Pilates in the water for all levels and no, not just for dancers. This is a great workout for anyone who likes water exercise, Pilates and dance. This is also a continuation of for my other video, Pilates in the Water Part 1, which you will find linked at the end of this video. So I hope you're gonna take a moment and maybe combine those two workouts together. Welcome to my channel. This is Fitness Anytime and Anywhere by Majena. I am an aerobic instructor, aqua aerobic instructor, and you know I love water, I love aqua workouts, and I love sharing my ideas. So, if you want to learn some new moves and take it to the pool, you are in the right place. First time on my channel? Please subscribe. This way you will never miss a new video. I hope you are ready because we are about to begin. So this is the water level that we're gonna begin with and we are mostly gonna stay on a zero depth water level. You could go slightly deeper. It's our warm up and we're gonna do squat calf rise. I know you cannot see my feet in the water, but what I'm doing here, I'm just climbing up on my toes and I'm climbing up pretty slowly, rolling my foot up and then down. As you are squatting, make sure you shift your body weight back towards your hips, towards your heels, and then you are engaging your core. You breathe through the movement. Now you can go a little bit faster combining those two moves together, squat, and once you stretch your arms over the head, you're gonna reach all the way up. This will move your heart way up, and that's gonna make you very comfortable with both water and air temperature. All right, now let's bring those hands in the water. It's plank position, and we're gonna do plank with knee curls or mountain climbers. If you go a little bit slower here with one knee forward at a time, that's fine, but you can also go faster like I'm going today. For those of you who are not fan of planks, remember there's elbow option as well. But let me remind you, in the water, your body is a little lighter. So once you get slightly deeper, you'll be surprised how comfortable those planks are. Take a step forward to lunge, and then as you bring your arms down, go to low lunge. We're gonna balance between those two positions, reaching up high lunge, exhaling down low lunge. Great exercise for hip flexors. Bring your hands back to the water, come back to plank, and now continue curling your knees, this time to the side. Once more time, if you find this exercise too challenging on, on a very shallow water, just go a little deeper. I promise you're gonna find a way to do it. Step forward to lunge position, bring your shoulders up, inhale, reach over the head, exhale, bring it down. Four times at your tempo. We are not in a hurry here at all. Beautiful. Full body stretch. And on your exhale, come back to plank position, entire body align. Continue curling those knees forward. As you know, you can go slower or faster. Water resistance makes this exercise so much different than done on an exercise mat. Now let's add leg extensions. We're gonna curl knee forward on the exhale and then you're gonna lift up your toes back. Beautiful, keep going. Step forward, it's lunge position. Look how big this lunge is. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms down. Chin is up and power to the floor. Our shoulders are back and away from ears. Reach up again 
exhale, bring your arms down and then palms to the water. It's plank again. Continue curling knees to the side now. One at a time. Take your time. You want to almost touch your elbow from the outside. What a great exercise it is for obliques, but in the water, you also challenge your leg muscles. Leg extension, back in a game. Knee forward and extension back. Knee forward and extension back. And another one, see how far up you can go use those glutes. Take a step forward, find your balance, move your shoulders up, breath in, exhale, down. Breath in, exhale, down. These lunges can be done slightly deeper as well. But planks, not so much. Only around knee level will work for most. Full body stretch again. On the exhale, come back to plank position and continue curling your knees forward and then to the side. Let's mix those together. Forward, forward, side to side. This shallow water exercise you can do at any pool that has zero depth level, but you can also do at the beach. When the water is still, I promise you're gonna love it. And leg extensions, this time we're gonna lift up legs slowly, try a little bit harder, use your glute strength. And remember, you can always go slightly deeper to make things easier. Very good. This could be a great moment to do squats again, give those wrists a break, or we can move on to next segment. And this actually gonna be a lot of side planks with tread the needle movement. Actually, tread the needle movement will also get a little different in the water. So, I'm gonna be actually in a side plank position on my palms, but just so you know, you could hold it on your forearm as well. That's another modification. And as we hold the side plank position, I have one leg crossed over the other one. Here's what we're gonna do with our arms. Firstly, line up your arms up, then reach across, feel the stretch, and then bring your palm down and gently splash water toward behind you. If this position gets uncomfortable, you're gonna lower one knee down, which I will show you in a moment when we switch side. I hope you're gonna take a moment to watch my video first and then take those exercises to the water. Side plank with leg lift. So now we're gonna lift up bottom leg up and try touch it just above water level. This time the top leg is crossed behind us, just like that. We couldn't do it in a previous position. If it's too much to stay on your wrist for so long, just bring your forearm down. This is a great exercise for core and also for inner thighs. And that's modification that I mentioned. You can bring knee down and you can also continue now with some leg pulsing motion. Keep your body strong and engaged and then slowly come back. We're gonna switch side. So that is the full plank position. I'm on my palm. I have top leg crossed in front. Entire body aligned, core engaged. And as before, we're gonna do the same arm moves, reaching across, then up, and then splashing water behind. Here's knee down option with leg extension which is so much easier, but also will give you a good workout. I promise you that. It's really all about starting right. Now take a step forward with your bottom leg, because now we're gonna need that extensions as well. 
So we're gonna go up, lift up your leg, as far up the water level as you can. And again, lift it up. Such a challenge for inner thighs. This one is even harder if you do it on an exercise mat. In the water, just a tiny bit easier. But still, you're gonna feel those inner thighs really in action. All right, now let's move on to boat position. We are sitting down, and here let me warn you, if the bottom of the pool has the rough surface, you may need uh, something for to sit on. Even exercise mat could be helpful. Holding boat pose in the water is slightly easier. My feet are floating. I'm in, a, in this reclined position. You can either just take a moment and hold the boat or you can add our motion. I'm gonna now move on to teaser, which is extremely challenging Pilates exercise. You will be extending your toes forward about 45 degrees up. And now you can let one arm go or both. You wanna maintain that pose with your core strength. Try keep your chest lifted, neck extension of your spine. And then relax. What's better than relaxing straight back in the water? Well, we're not there yet. We're coming back to boat pose. My feet are still floating. You can just hold your arms right here, extended in front of you, or you can also add some arm variations, which makes, makes it a little harder for those deep layered abs. Up and down, then splash water out. Lift up your chin. You want your chin to be parallel to the water. If you guys practice Pilates and you tried this one, I would love to hear from you. Was it less or more challenging than what you normally do? Please let me know. All right. How about if we try single leg extensions in a water? Here you can do it on a very, very shallow part and you can go ahead even dip your head in the water if you want. I decided not to, not today. You pull one knee in towards yourself and then you're gonna switch. Inhale on one side, exhale on the other side. You can use your arms just to splash gently water side to side or you can continue pulling your knees towards yourself like you would normally do on the mat. Let's come back to teaser for a little bit. Remember, you can place your hands right under your knees and help yourself a little bit. Try this version with legs open. Holding each position for anywhere 10 to 30 seconds will give you most challenge. And always take a little break after. Let's move on to double leg extensions. We're gonna now use our palms to pull our leg as close toward our nose as we can. You will be maintaining your shoulder blades above the bottom of the pool and trust me, in the water, it's so much easier. You actually are dealing now with uh, this bouncing uh, power of water rather than gravity, which makes this exercise very, very different experience than the same one done on your exercise mat. All right, finally, elbow plank. And this time you can go with side toe taps or you can just do side lifts. I will be alternating between full plank and elbow plank. But if you already feel that it was enough on your palms, just hold that elbow plank position. So you have your forearm grounded and you are on your toes. Once you are tapping your toes to the side, water carries your body weight, but you are dealing again with resistance. So it is this different feeling.
good. You could see that water flow. You can feel it. I want you to take your time when you move from one position to another one, when you perform those moves. You can obviously try to do more repetitions that I am presenting. I just want to give you a bunch of ideas. How about if we lift up like up? Once your leg is above the water surface, it gets very heavy. That's going to be a real challenge for your glutes and posterior muscles of your body. I will show you this one from the side angle in a moment. So hold on. You see how my body is still actually on the water. It is only leg. Pulse it up, pulse it up, and then switch. You want to do anywhere between four to eight reps, and that's going to be enough for one set. But how about if we do two? And relax. All right, we are getting close to an end of this workout. Let's do Cobra in the water, which again is such a great stretch. Once we are in the water, our spine is decompressed and holding this pose, maintaining it, gets so much easier. On your exhale, come back. Turn on your back and just slowly curl your knee to the side we're gonna now stretch and relax grab your left knee and move it over to the right side you can go ahead and put your head all the way down in the water and then we're gonna switch side go ahead cross your legs reach up and then on your exhale bend forward Now also this stretch, if you've tried this on a mat, you could found, find this uncomfortable, I promise you in the water, it is such a different feeling. Many of you will be able to do it only in the water. And once you go deeper, it gets easier. It's a great stretch for glutes. You always wanna do both sides. Give it as much time as you need. Extend your arms forward. Don't force yourself to anything. It should feel nothing else but a good relaxing stretch at this point. It doesn't have to be extreme. Just consistent. Go ahead, extend your right leg. Left knee is bent. We're gonna reach to the side. Hold that side stretch. And then we're gonna twist to the knee making sure our back is straight, shoulders back and down, chest lifted. This is a very, very good spinal stretch. And now we're gonna switch legs. You're gonna open up your left leg, bend your right knee, and then you're gonna grab your toes and pull yourself a little bit in. Possibly you wanna keep your knee close to the bottom of the pool. Hold that stretch. And as before, on your exhale, twist to the other side. You try to keep your chin up and power to the floor. Open up both legs, side split. And again, just give it a little bit more time here. Let's open up those hips. Just relax, close your eyes. Ask yourself if what you are doing today is getting you anywhere closer to where you want to be tomorrow. Is this workout making this progress for you? I know it does. Just watching it gives you a lot of great ideas. And once you decide to try those in the water, that's even gonna be better. Your breath is getting slower and slower. 
and we're gonna slowly come back from this position which could firstly feel slightly uncomfortable so take your time bring your legs in very very slowly cross your legs sit down close your eyes drop your head to one side And then go ahead, swing and drop your head to the other side. Let it be heavy. Drop your head forward. And lift up your chin up. See what's above you. Come back to the center. If you want to stay in this position a little bit longer, feel free and enjoy it. Other than this, take a deep breath in. Lift up your chest. Just take a moment to connect with your body and notice how it responds to those exercises. On your exhale, you're going to slowly allow your arms fall back down into the water. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you know that. See you next time.